Well, I'm not going to Kentucky, that's for sure. We have a cheesecake factory here, though. <laughs> Can Amberlynn come to the Middle East? <laughs> she will finish the chocolates and the, and the food. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fat shaming! <laughs> We're both going to finish the chocolates. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> joking, joking. <laughs> she can come uh, anytime she wants. She will come. There you go, uh, Amberlynn. We'll eat all the chocolates together, all right? <laughs> It's so del uh, delicious, the chocolates, by the way. <laughs> but you're right, there's a lot of food here. She would love it. Too many. Uh, yeah. All the kind of the foods. She would yeah. find it here. There's a cheesecake factory. we got to take her to Dip and Dip. Oh, the yeah. crepes? Nice. Come so it's okay for Zach to dehumanizing Amberlynn all the time and to shame Salah for his home, but when Salah does a hand gesture mocking how snotty Zach is, it's all of a sudden gay shaming? I don't think so, but I guess you are all getting desperate for content. The content you reaction channels steal on a daily basis. The same content. So it's boring and tedious and pathetic and blah blah, but you obsess over it the minute anything happens. Anything. I could buy cream cheese and people will talk about it for 891,101 videos. LMAO, love that for you. Stay mad. I freaking love my LGBTQ plus folks, but Zach and his minions can suck it with a fake sanctimonious outrage. He literally makes a living thrashing two women online. Go cry in the corner somewhere. We don't have any issue with LGBTQ+, we respect all human beings, but we were talking about Zachary as a person replying to his video when he shamed us about living in the studio and about fat shaming. That's all. Good night. They just need fake outrage for content. True, Habib D. I cannot tolerate him at all. I feel for his poor pup Judy. He literally mocked Chantal in his intro, but that's okay. I roll. As a member of the LGBTQ plus community, I will say quite definitively that anyone such as yourself who is prepared to defend an obvious homophobic gesture is absolutely no ally. So you can take a performative preface and get lost. And even if you disagree with Zach's approach, that does not justify bigotry. Salad is 100% himself. Mark my words, I wasn't confused by the lady's hands in her last video only to find out they were his, LMAO. I love Zach. They are kind and respectful in their reactions. The amount of homophobic vitriol being thrown their way is disgusting. Honestly, honestly, and I never talk about a person's physical characteristics unless it's a germane to the conversation, I thought that was a woman playing until I saw it was him. The deja vu is real. Remember when she used to excuse Nader's homophobic and racist rants? Have fun in La La Land. Enabling homophobia is wrong, Chantal. Because it's easier for her to say we are not discussing those things than say that she loves someone who does not support it. I would never date anyone who didn't have the same beliefs I shared, period. Most of us know that many people in the Middle East have their views on many things and especially things like homosexuality. She even mentioned yesterday about their view on dogs. She should do her research on why they don't have dogs in their homes. I've been told by a Muslim man himself why. So again, she said she does not care for dogs so much because now why? He does not like them, so you don't like them? Exactly, and there is a story about someone being chased by a dog. Anyways, not knocking anyone's beliefs, but I can't understand any religion that does not love animals and accept them as God's creatures. I don't know what to say. I love all animals and no one would change that for me. Me too, 100%. I will also never abandon my religion, family, and close friends to please a man. And let's be real. Do you see her praying five times a day? She not even know what Mecca is. She was like, oh, right, right, Mecca. Then she said, yes, we are going to do a Ramadan bees. Ramadan, it's not a time to bees for any Muslim. It's a time to pray and fast. And she's using the hijab as a prop to cover her bold head. Wrong in all levels, that's why I can't stand her. Such a hypocrite.
the whole love that for you thing should just get under your skin and the six inches of blubber seeing as you can't stop trying to use it unironically but it just comes off cringy when you do it we love that for you Chantal no worries Han your fake husband is 100% gay himself love that for you it must be hard for Zach cause he's near the same age as Amber but looks like he's in 60s like yikes I've been lurking this side of the YouTube universe for a while and honestly, these reaction channels are weird. They like to hum and haw about how they can do other content or they have awesome personalities but what are they really doing at the end of the day? Just be honest, you know? Don't be a cry bully. Don't act like it's normal, quirky or that you're living your best life. While you have a sh channel that is mostly picking apart two random women you don't know. Dear God, at least own it. I'm so over their shit, lol. Start ignoring them. They will eventually go away. You look great, by the way. The weight loss is showing. Keep up the good work. Enjoy your life and stop giving negativity all of your attention. Lol, true. Agree. I've never seen a YouTube channel so bad at not reacting. So how much less dehumanizing was it for Amber to hear you and Salah make fat jokes? Was it over Zach never making a fat joke about her? Interesting to hear your excuses. If you just ignore them, they eventually start fighting amongst each other over stupidity. Your best reaction is no reaction at all. Don't you have other things to do with your fake husband besides rage on your community tab all the time? As nouns, the difference between criticism and bullying is that Criticism is the act of criticizing, a critical judgment, past or expressed, a critical observation or detailed examination and review, a critique, an uh, adversion. Censure while bullying is an act of intimidating a weaker person to do something, especially such repeated coercion. So it's okay for him to tell people to off themselves and be homophobic, yet you can't say, but. Got it. Boring. Even if I'm boring, why are you watching me? <laughs> right? <laughs> I saw many comments about this. It's uh, just easy. Uh, press unsubscribe and don't watch. Don't come here. Don't even, don't even chat. Don't even talk. Just kill yourself, please. <laughs> <laughs> Not literally, but you know, it's yeah. the same. You and your husband should be half the human beings Zach is. Also, Chantal, you shouldn't snicker at your whatever he is making snide comments about Amber Lynn when you're sitting beside him. Could you be he thinks the same or worse about you? Think about it. We all know that Salah's hand gesture meant nothing will change that. Just like when he used the R word and just like when he told someone to unalive themselves. Oh, and just like he made a fat joke about someone's mother while sitting next to you. He used weight as an insult. What do you think that means about his view of you? Even Amber is dragging you on her community tab with facts. Love that for you. Stay mad, Chantal. Amber is going to be six feet under soon at the rate she's going. The Amber who blames everyone else except herself for problems in her life. Chantal does the exact same thing. I love how the first two replies also apply to Chantal. So basically, you're admitting that you just don't care if Salah thinks being gay is wrong. Okay then, peace out. Don't chill with bigots regardless of their religion. This comment is giving very, if you don't agree with my beliefs and your trash, vibes. Imagine people holding the belief that bigotry is morally wrong and not wanting to associate with someone who thinks otherwise. And for Papatamus and Ham Salad are giving up Hippocratic vibes. His religion would stone anyone who was gay and he wouldn't be doing all the lying and name calling that he does. But then again, look who he's with. For Papatamus needs to get her son's bend under control. Sounds like Ham Salad wrote this. The broken English and misspelled words. Dehumanizing. You mean dehumanize? The real question is, would Salah abuse a block of innocent paneer cheese? Pretty sure Salah is gay, hence the showy homophobia and willingness to be with Chantal. Having a wife must alleviate the social pressure for him. I don't care his orientation. I've seen enough to find him unlikable. There is no such thing as house shaming. Stop trying to be a victim. Doesn't it say on his Facebook that he is looking for men and women? If that's true, I don't think he should be making fun of homosexuality. 
I have no clue what goes on on this channel anymore and I don't have the time to find out. So salad is breaking Islamic law eating fupa ball pork belly. I doubt that they have actually done it. She would be a lot happier than she is. Wow, comments turned on? Are we nervous about the lack of revenue coming in? Stop gaslighting people, Chantal. Bruh, I'm still not sure Salah isn't light in the loafers himself. Excusing his behavior, trying to explain it away. All things you did with Koki and now this guy you're married to. You are ridiculous. What do you stand for? Zach thinks his sexuality is a personality. He's a clown, period. Stay mad, says the angriest woman on YouTube, lol. People assume that hand gestures mean the same all over the world. They don't. Salah's hand gesture is not a homophobic slur in the Middle East. Exactly. Then he should be aware that it is offensive to her audience, primarily American viewers. No excuse. Do you mean America the continent or USA? I'm assuming the latter since you think everyone should do as you do. I had to waste my life to live it and appreciate it. I'm paraphrasing but I agree with that. I believe you should keep learning to appreciate life and the chance to live it. I'm learning that same lesson. That was on my mind and I just needed to say it. Thanks for using your voice and working to be more comfortable with yourself. Wrong channel. I wanted to leave this in the comments of your live stream but they are off. So I'll copy and leave this on your couple's channel. Spill Zack is a misogynist for that fish shirt. If you just sat there staring at the camera, not speaking or moving there, would still be a multitude of assumptions made on it. Really guys, you give attention to this who called Zachary? LMAO, don't waste your time and just ignore him. Just ignore them. Zach is nothing, just a pathetic boy who's shaming the home of the people or the fat bodies. Salah is the king and you are the queen. Thank you. Ignore them, lovely. They are all just jealous and obsessed with you. Somebody called me a foodie beauty simp that I am. Haha, -ha, hello. Thanks for simping. Their job is to professionally take situations out of context and to victimize themselves while simultaneously insulting yourself and Salah. It is pathetic. Truthfully, it is a projection of their own lives. Just look at FFG. She reacts to every second of your life and she blatantly insults your appearance. Nobody cares. But everyone gets upset if you make a harmless joke at Reaction Channel's expense. It is insane how heavy the double standards are. You could be doing very badly mentally and emotionally, as in struggling, binging, being isolated, or without friends and Reaction Channel's would rip into you. Show no recourse or empathy at all. They're hypocritical to the maximum level. You're rebuilding a new group of viewers that actually care about you and Salah. So keep thriving and getting better. We are here for you. Finally, someone with the brain. Now, if only YouTube protected their creators, but they don't. Ah, well, we are going to keep living our lives. Thanks for the comment, XO. True. Perfect. Well done. They were laughing at Amberlynn Reed, not a reaction channel. Agree. They react to everything. They know something before her members even watch. Like they are, like they stay ready to pounce. You are so right. The hypocrisy is nauseating. And all of the brainless people who just agree with everything the reaction channels say is mind-numbing. The lack of self-awareness is nauseating. Stay happy, pretty girl. My mom said you are gorgeous. Thanks so much. Wow, comments are on. Congratulations on the marriage and forever happiness. Oh, sigh. Look at all the jealous weirdos showing up, Chantal and Salah. You keep being your happy selves as they desperately try to make content videos of happy people. They're all disgusting creatures. You're glowing and happy and it shows they can't take that from you. You secretly love Agent Orange Clown Man, huh? Just admit it because you've acted like you're on the Trump train since I first discovered you. You have literally everything in common. Trust and believe, foodie is a mega maga. 100. It's funny how you're acting so high and mighty as soon as a guy pays any interest in you. It's a joke. Can't wait for your videos where you're back smoking pot, barely awake, talking about how sad you are that he broke your heart. You need help. Didn't you learn not to police what other minorities can get offended over? Lol. Jesus fucking Christ, tell your husband to give you the dick already. You are being a mega bitch. 
Do you still identify as a bisexual woman? And if so, how does Salah feel about that? People are reaching. Literally thousands of people do that hand gesture, especially in TikTok when they are dancing, doing a skit, etc. Exactly. When he is shaming my home and shaming the fat people and talking in a bad way about the others, there is no problem. And when anyone defend himself and makes hand gestures to his person, they say he hates gays. Lol, funny moment. Exactly, love. He does it for attention, so you talk about him, and then more people know who he is and go to his channel. Much better to never talk about reactors. True. Fine then. Do you think it's okay to be gay? You know Chantal came out as bisexual in May, right? Even though she lied to you and said it wasn't true. You fat shamed Amberlyn Reed. So you're upset that Zachary fat shamed your wife, then maybe you should also stop doing it. Practice what you preach. If that was what Salah was doing, so what? He has to agree with everyone's lifestyle. No one has to agree with homosexuality. It's a sin in many religions. Get over yourselves. So this is what Chantal's new followers look like? Nice direction you've gone, Chantal. Bigots, homophobes. What's next? Oh look, these are Chantal's new followers. Love that for you, Chantal. Good luck with your new bigot channel. I'm sure it will be well received. Karate Joes of the world as well. You know what? You're 100% correct. Nobody has to agree with it. But what starts with a hand gesture ends with something worse. And we all know what Islam teaches about LGBTQ. So give that some reflection. These people will do and say anything to have a point against why do people have such hatred for you. Did you murder a family or something? Lol, they are vultures. What happened? I read your reply and now it's gone? I bet you read back that laundry list of excuses you tried to make for her and realize you owned yourself. Hilarious. Also, no one made her go on Omegle. In fact, she was repeatedly told what can happen and did it anyway. Twice. She does not care. The point you're trying to make is she purposely allowed the child to show their private. Stop trying to spin a different narrative. Amen, they are. I will never understand it. When I came across your channel, I started and stayed because you're funny. You love to laugh. You're genuine and real. They literally cannot stand that two people found one another across continents and fell in love. I was watching Zach videos and all what he has about other contents. So I found him so boring. Just shaming Amber Lynn, Foodie Beauty, and Salah while nobody of them talked about him at all. And still the haters talking about Salah's hand normal gusting? Lol, just ignore those people who don't have any life. Lol, I agree. Very well said. I unsubbed from ZM a long time ago when he declared that he is they now. I knew it was for attention only. He comes out here criticizing everybody, but he should be untouchable? No ma'am, that's not how any of this works. I don't care what he identifies as my problem is that he is a hypocrite bully. This is entirely true. If she posted a 30 second short of her drinking a glass of room temperature water, the reaction channels would find a way to turn that into a conspiracy controversy. Turn your phone off and go get some rest. Your obsession with hatred is petty. I can't imagine sitting next to someone I am in love with and have them fat shame a woman all while being big themselves. You can't preach about fat shaming but allow your partner to fat shame someone in front of thousands of people. Laughing about it is just as bad as making the comment yourself. I've only ever stuck up for Chantal when it comes to her weight. The shaming, the hate, and her marriage. Hearing Salah make a fat joke and Chantal laughing afterwards while crying fat shaming is like a damn parody to me. Chantal, this isn't even about me at this point. Do you have respect for yourself? If Salah feels this way about me, do you ever wonder if he secretly feels this way about you? 